In this video, I'm going to show you the eDesk mailbox. You can get here from anywhere in the app by clicking this mailbox icon. It's where all your customer conversations will be organized into tickets in eDesk. You have multiple different views for your tickets depending on their status or the actions that have been taken on them up to now. My tickets are tickets that are assigned to you. Mentioned are tickets where you were mentioned. These mentions can be made on notes, in tickets, and are a great way to ask for help. Pre-sales are messages from customers who are not ready to buy, but are showing intent. You can find out more about pre-sales queries by clicking here. Next, new tickets are fresh into your mailbox and have never been responded to. New tickets also show in the to-do section. To-do are tickets that need action. They contain all of your new tickets, but also tickets that need further action. For example, tickets that have received a response from a customer and require you to respond again. Waiting are tickets that you've added to this section. These are tickets that you're not ready to close, so you put them in waiting. Snooze tickets are like waiting tickets, but with snooze, you can choose when you want them to reopen. When the time you've set comes, these tickets will automatically go to to do. Resolved contains all resolved tickets. Recently updated have recently had an update, such as a response, a note, or a change of status. Favorites are tickets you've marked as favorites. Spam is for tickets that have been marked as spam. Pinned filters will show any filters that you've saved. You can filter tickets by clicking the filter button on the top right. Within each view, a list of tickets within it appear on the right. Each ticket preview on the list contains important information on the ticket, such as what type of query it is, who it's from, a preview of the content, and how much time is left to reply. The default time to reply is 24 hours, but you can change it in mailbox settings. Please note that changing this will not affect the SLA set by the marketplace you sell on. For example, Amazon has a 24-hour SLA. You can sort tickets however you like using the sort button here. You can also customize what information you see by using the customize ticket layout option here.